You can find it in grocery stores, you can buy it online, and you may already be consuming it in keto-friendly ice cream or in some non-caloric stevia and monk fruit sweeteners where it is used as a bulk filler. And now you can also find it popping up in your headlines. We're talking about erythritol, a compound that, like lactitol, maltitol, sorbitol, and xylitol, is uh, naturally produced in small amounts from sugars in plants as well as in our bodies. These compounds are not readily metabolized, and therefore they are excreted in our urine. Since sugar alcohol stays sweet and can be readily produced by cheap fermentation methods, they have found application as non-caloric sweeteners. While some people note a laxative effect, but by and large, these sugar alcohols have been deemed to be safe. But now the safety of one, erythritol, is being questioned, at least for people who have pre-existing risk factors for heart disease, such as diabetes, high blood pressure, or elevated cholesterol. Interestingly, this finding was an accidental one. Researchers at the Cleveland Clinic were studying blood samples from people with existing cardiovascular disease risk factors, and what they were looking to see if they could find some component in the blood that could predict the risk for a heart attack or a stroke. They were surprised to find a connection with erythritol. People with erythritol blood levels in the top 25% had doubled the risk of heart attack or stroke when compared with those in the bottom 25%. But these risky levels can only be reached by consuming foods that contain added erythritol which may be simply declared on the label as sugar alcohol or reducing sugar. Was this just some sort of chance association, or was erythritol a causative factor? One possibility was that this compound affects the blood's ability to clot, since clot formation is a cause of heart attack and stroke. Indeed, when erythritol was added to blood samples in the lab, clot formation was enhanced. Circulating erythritol levels in the blood of mice were also found to be related to the extent of clot formation in response to an injury of their carotid artery. The researchers then followed up by having eight volunteers drink a beverage containing 30 grams of erythritol, and that's an amount many people are consume when they're trying to reduce their caloric intake from carbohydrates, uh, and the blood levels. Uh, increased a thousandfold after they consumed the 30 grams. Uh, also, the risk factor for clot formation was significantly elevated for about two days. Producers of erythritol-containing foods and sweeteners claim that the compound has been shown to be safe and has been approved by regulatory agencies around the world. That is true. But such approval is based on toxicity studies in animals, and erythritol indeed is not toxic. But the approval process does not require studying cardiovascular risk in populations with already increased risk, or indeed in any population. Finding that erythritol has an effect on blood clotting was serendipitous, and it should not be ignored. What we have here is yet another example that purported quick and easy solutions to weight control can have negative features that may not be immediately apparent. Instead of relying on zero-calorie sweeteners, why not just cut down on sugar and refined carbohydrate consumption? No worries about erythritol in the bloodstream then. And that for today is our cup of joe, with no sugar and with no sweetener added.